Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is Derek to Kim. Hope you are doing very good. I know you guys missed me and I missed so much. Sorry for my silence. It's been very, very long days. It's about months now. I never drop any new tutorial, but today, now on, I'm going to start it over. So you guys don't have to skip this channel because I'm coming with the used stuff. All right. One thing that I want to talk about, uh, the reason why I just been quiet in our uh, lately recently i never drop any new calls or new tutorial is it because i've been i've been with a lot of a project on my desk work on some movies music videos series and other stuff so they kept me so much busy and as well as the good thing i had a workshop um projects that i've been working on teaching people to the uh university of Dar es salaam uh the people who pay the workshop unfortunately i, I just i've been talking about this on my my tutorials about we, about this workshop yeah it's been done and it was very dope their students were good and now they are good it's ongoing but uh missing workshop it doesn't mean that's um you just missed everything i also have a master classes that i can teach you and guide you where to your journey to, of a car grading the most of the thing that i explained to them to the uh, workshop i already explained to the master class that i often used to tell you i got the master class all right let me not waste your time another thing that i want to talk about today in this video we're gonna learn uh this a uh, few uh techniques that might advance your grading skills might might put in your grading skills to the next level so we're gonna to explain about this thing yeah i'm very super excited to be once again here guys i'm leaving <laughs> i'm leaving i'm health and i'm good enough so all right let's go jump into the tutorial so here as you can see to our davinci resolve uh we got this footage this was shot on sony but I'm gonna work out with this this one this one is good it's give me the nice nice touch so that i can work perfect to, to my picture i can see the perfect type of details that's what i want to push all right so uh the trick number one is to control your color management we've been explaining about this on a workshop and also on my tutorial master classes i've been explaining about doing uh about these things or uh, color management yeah so the first trick is to convert your footage it doesn't matter how the camera has been shot red camera black magic sony any camera first you have to convert it to the uh, davinci wild gamma that's the other thing that i've been learning so much and i've been explaining about this but if your davinci doesn't have a davinci wild gamma maybe i can i can tell you to use uh, essays or Alexa. that's a big color space transformation also it has a little bit of color shift as as well especially to the skin tone ports if your picture has so much yellows or reds that is annoying it doesn't catch up to the perfect skin tone Davin Chua Gamma to help you so much to shift your car into that all right so what I'm going to do is just I'm going to create these two node and then I'm going to convert into uh Davin Chua Gamma this is us s s log three and then I'm going to convert to the yeah like this, and then in Davinci Wild Gamut. boom. And then I'm going to car space transformations like this. And then here is what I'm doing to my output. I'm gonna leave it like that. To my output gamma, I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna convert it to Cineon Film. And then I'm going to use a uh, film look. This is another technique that's to give you a very healthy, very bold the picture. The picture is heavy, strong, contrast the film. Yeah, sometimes you can use film, but mostly I, I love using the answer. But today I was like, I don't want to use the answer. I want, I, I want me to work out perfect with you. Okay. Another trick is to using HDR tools more than other tools. This is the most most interesting part. You know, a lot of people love using uh, lift the gamma gain or shadows or curves or 
that tools that's a yeah, you really working perfect but to me i really recommend you to use mostly uh hdr tools is is giving you some flexibility giving you some slightly changes that you need a um, very 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 lowest very very lowest details that you need to maybe adjust or decrease so that's this is the most most beautiful parts that i'm using so i'm often like to use hdr to the most parts especially to control exposure during contrast and maybe about our balance sometimes so let's try this trick a little bit here and let's see how work and another thing another trick is i love doing a contrast before balance exposure or doing a uh, touching the extra touch so the first thing that i'm going to do is just i'm going to control I'm doing I'm going to do a contrast I just put in 1.1 that is my starting point point, and then I'm coming to to this node uh, before that I'm going to bypass it then I'm going to look at the image increase the highlights and then put in my exposure coming to another node so I'm doing it after then I'm going to balance to HDR somewhere around here and like this yeah, here I'm coming to shadow now like like this look how perfect we got the footage look how before and after how beautiful we got the footage to be super super interesting yeah i i i i, I really love the these shadows low light the way they've been shot yeah it's working perfect all right so another trick is to control your saturations and wire balance it doesn't mean uh in, it, you need to increase or decrease it but first you need to control it so that it can control the overall color this is the most important thing to do when you're doing color grade. so you're going to check it up to the vectorscope and check out which tools you need to touch maybe i'm going to saturate a little bit like this and then i'm going to pull it down to make it breathe just a little bit somewhere around here it's really 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 working really good so i'm going to push to the one little bit just like this and then here i'm done with my color correction so this is my color correction look at before look at after the way it's looking so now we're going to jump into a color grading here is a problem. A lot of beginners they struggling how to make color grading as pro level. YouTube itself can never pull up to that level. The Retro Kim came out with the massive masterclass phase one and phase two, which is the first one has three parties, and each of our parts has a long pause video. Having an issue with the color senses, color management, creating different looks, fixing problems, how to balance proper your footage, shot merging, dealing with the small budget camera, everything you need to know from diving to resolve. Masterclass has deep explanations. If you're really struggling with way of creating look, director Kim never seen enough till he made the 26 lats which is has look DNA and skin tone lat and color separations DCTR power grade also available director Kim really wants to shift you into next level have a permanent mentor who can guide you well to your journey of color grading he decided to create a whatsapp group for his own student member but remember to join a whatsapp group you need to buy one of his products either masterclass or loot package now let's back into the lesson all right so as you as you as you listen to my my, my shop leg the way that I've been explained about master class and my loot pocket yeah of course i have a loot package and it really working nice and i'm really i'm about to do this loot pack into this footage those are loots i mostly use into most of my videos even you go to my instagram go to my instagram kim grade it most of uh, the videos that you see there that's i posted it then most of them most of them trust me i'm using this loot package and it really working nice it's a look DNA and a skin tone pocket so it's you, anything that you want to 
to do it on your videos every look that is, is there so the thing that you do is you apply loot and try to fix and change a little bit of the way you want us to push but it really really working nice so another trick is first <laughs> using my loot that's another trick all right another trick is just um mostly like i uh, love to 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 use period nodes when you are doing color grading when you creating a look when you are doing look dna it doesn't matter you are using a loot or you are using a normal way but often like to use peril the reason why i'm telling you this because it's giving you a clean result because the the color uh, look development is a mostly we play with the color and we don't need so much harmony so much uh distortion to the picture we need a clean result and i'm explaining about period nodes how they work so yeah i recommend you to use a uh, period nodes more often when you you are doing a when you are doing uh color grading you see the the time that you are doing uh the time that you are doing uh this i mean this this what what why we call it the, the time that you are you are doing uh the normal corrections you can you can work on you can you can work with uh uh that guys uh the serial nodes but the time that you are doing uh color grading you can work out with the period nodes yeah is is going to give you a better resource this is another trick so let's apply those trick this is how my loot package work uh first is i'm going to reduce the intensity 0 0.3 that's my starting point and then i'm going to apply a different look this is a are uh, you see the over this is a look dna that you got the look and this is the skin tone we got a uh, skin one skin two until skin 11 is a different type of skin and this is a look we got a look at a look 15 the different type of look so let's try this is a look one look two look three look four look five look six look seven look eight look nine look ten look eleven look twelve i feel like look one look two is real bit working good to me even look three i feel like look three is working nice look two is more film i love it all right maybe look three as well all right so after applying the look look this is before it's giving you a split tone you see this before this is after it's give you a split tone it give you a uh, look dna is the vibrance and everything so yeah and then you're going to do extra touch like maybe i'm going to try to uh desaturate the skin tone a little bit somewhere around here and coming to the warm tone push it to the orange part something like that this is what happened you see nothing much and then another thing is using hsv saturations I'm gonna use HSV saturation like this. I'm gonna increase. Somewhere around there. And then I'm coming back here. Keeping push. That's it. And last thing is. A contrast pop. I mean I explained about this thing. And how it really exactly work here is our grading wait what is now right this is before this is after look how perfect we got the tone and everything that is another trick let's go jump into another trick here is another trick uh another trick is to make this looking calm clean and more uh holistic to to slide everything to make it the balance you, you can see it to the scopes you can see to the scopes the way from the way it is look at before look at the for the way it's it's looking it's like it's like it's 
to clean that distorting stuff or to clean that greasing thing so yeah so the trick another trick is using these plugins called the band from davinci resolve itself it's really beautiful plugins is giving you a better resource to clean the image when i apply it look at before before the my my scopes they very easily look like let's see looks very uh strong you know but here when i apply this plugin is giving very breathing you see the wave the way the breeze so yeah so here now we're we going to try to work out with this thing make sure you not do too much make sure you not do too much so i'm going to reduce this and i'm try to reduce A little bit of a uh, blending as you can see our uh, look at before it was super strong but now it's a little bit clean so the picture it's very very looking clean uh, you can see it's it's really, really looking green so what you can do next is just in only try to apply maybe uh, sharpen tools to make it looks very uh clean yeah but the gradings is looking really really perfect let's go to to this because this one is main this one this is the main one that was not the main this one the main look how perfect the color we've got uh from scott look out before look at after the way the film cinematic it looks more gentle <laughs> all right thanks you very much for watching this video this is director kim hope you really enjoyed the video uh from now on i'm going to try to drop a tutorial in time because i've been busy and still but not too much like before so i'm going to try my best to come with the new stuff this one was one of the things that i was like okay let me try to come out with this thing to the tutorial but it's not like we've done it no we never done still good thing are coming if you never subscribe this youtube channel i beg subscribe comment like and share follow me my instagram cream grading for more updates of color grading check me on my whatsapp i pick everyone i don't expect i pick everyone so contact me i will apply you in a time i don't like mostly some questions silly questions to the my inbox like bro what is your looting doing hey show me the examples of a loot I been a short example of a loot too much. If you want to see the loot how we work, go to my Instagram. Go there. People asking about the masterclass. Blah blah blah. The masterclass explain about this thing that I'm showing you in deep way. So if you trust, and some people they come, they don't trust. <laughs> they come and say, yo, bro, so I'm going to do a payment. So how can I trust like this is a scam or what? Bro, this is not a scam. I'm a serious man, I'm a businessman, I'm doing this for so many years yeah it's about years now maybe one or two yeah i think and i work out with the professional people i can't be a scammer i'm teaching you i'm a your mentor and i have a lot of students that can just give you uh they give you a short thing all right so see you guys on next tutorial